In this video, we'll take a look at Dynamics CRM's data model and also some of the terminologies that we will use for the rest of the course. This will help you better understand how the data is being organized in the system. I would recommend if you have a basic level understanding of databases. But for those of you who don't know what it is, fret not, I'll keep it as simple as it can be. Alright, going to the basics, in CRM, there are primarily two things, a record and a record type. So let's try to understand each one in detail. First of all, a record in CRM is a complete piece or unit of information like an account or a contact. Each record will hold additional information in it, which are called attributes. For example, there is a record called John and if I open John's record, there would be additional attributes like full name, mobile phone, address, email, etc. For those who, for those of you who know databases, then a record is a simple row in a table and columns of that record are attributes in CRM. Moving on to record type. As the word says it all, a record type simply means the type that is contact, account, lead, etc. of the record. It is basically used to group similar records together. In CRM, record types are also known as entities. For people with database knowledge, an entity or a record type is like a table where you store similar records. Let's go into CRM and see how these look. Alright, so here we are in CRM. If you are following the series, then you must now be familiar with Area Switcher. Upon opening sales, all the different areas that you see here, that is accounts, contacts, etc. All are record types or entities in Dynamics terminology. Let's open accounts here. All the entries that you see here in this list are records. And if you open up any record, then you would see its columns or attributes. So in this particular case, we have an attribute called as account name, phone, fax, website. And if you just go to the right side of the screen, then we have annual revenue, number of employees, owner. All these are attributes for a datum account. The same scheme of things continue throughout the system. And this is how data is organized in CRM. Simple, isn't it? 